Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Um, it's another day in the life. And right now it's Thursday and a quick run through of today. I'm gonna go to uh, I'm gonna go to the pitch right now with two of the guys, Ivan and Pablo. We're gonna go get a session in. And then uh, after that we have training in the evening. You know the same old, same old. I'll take you guys with me today in this small town Lobzhenica in Poland. And let's start it off strong. Let's get a good session in. We'll see you guys at the pitch. Yo, 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 yo. That's crazy. Same. All right, so for this drill, we just had a technical drill going back and forth for a total of 10 reps. Yeah. 
Steven. And for this drill it's 1v1 so Yvonne defends two gates and so do I and we just do three each attack. Oh, Alright guys, I apologize about the filming earlier because I wasn't able to record the full thing. Um, the camera died midway through the 1v1. It was a lighter session today, but even then, the 1v1s were still really tiring. Same with the technical drills, and then in the end we did some sprints, so we have a training later at, in the evening. So, yeah. currently around 5.50 right now after lunch. I just got home and I just chilled, um, stayed on my phone, just relaxed a little bit. I have training at seven, so we're gonna leave in like 30, 40 minutes. But yeah, in the meantime, I'm just gonna watch some YouTube, um, maybe read a little bit, and then I'm gonna go get ready for training afterwards. From Ukraine. <laughs> oh, Pablo too. Pablo from Ukraine. Pablo from Ukraine. Okay. Mexico. Arriba Mexico, no. cabrones. Viva Mexico. Vamos. He's special. Let's say. Hey man, if you want to, if you ever want to see a Canadian, a Mexican, and a Ukrainian in one place, come to Poland, Lobozhnitsa. <laughs> That's where you find us. Right. Always.
sí. Yes, bien. Mierda. I've had some people ask me what I do for my skincare, and I'll be honest, I'm not a huge like skincare fanatic. But shout out to my girlfriend Freshda because she's the one that introduced me to this routine, and I've been following it for a year now. I do this whole routine like twice a day. I wash my face with some warm water, and then I apply this, CeraVe. Um, yeah, and I just put it on my hands, and then I scrub it on my face, and then I wash it off with cold water. I don't know if the warm water and cold water does a difference, but I have heard from people before that that's how they like open up their pores and then close it after, I don't know. One of them is called hyaluronic acid, and then I apply it on my hand, and then put it on my face, and then this other one is called niacinamide. So after I apply that, <clears throat> I apply this lotion, face cream, oh, CeraVe as well. And then I apply that on my face to kind of like add the finishing touch. And then always I put on sunscreen, um, especially like if I wash my face during the day. When I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is wash my face and then apply just the face cream, this face cream, and then the sunscreen. I'm going to go get ready for bed right now. I, it is currently the next morning. <laughs> Last night I got too tired to make the outro, so I just decided to make it today. I was on a phone call with one of my good friends. And one of the things that we talked about was um, in terms of training in football, like what is the, like the perfect balance? And he made a great analogy talking about um, a samurai and his sword. You know, like you sharpening, you know, like a samurai is like us doing like a technical drill, which would be like sharpening our sword. And for the samurai, actually fighting is him putting it to use. Go into a fight without your sword sharpened, then it, it makes no sense because you can't do any damage. But if you always sharpen your sword but never use it, then you'll have the experience to learn how to, you know, fight and get yourself in that experience in the game. We had this whole talk about God and our faith. The, the universe has equivalent exchange, something along those lines. I'm paraphrasing, but it's pretty much. In, in this much simpler way, it's what you put in is what you get out. How do we show love to ourself? And that's self-love, self-discipline. When, you, when you're fully disciplined into yourself, it shows that you truly, truly love yourself. And when you love yourself, you're disciplined for you, and then you're disciplined for God. You stay away from, from the distractions, from the temptations, from the lustful thoughts, from all of this, you will be rewarded. I've seen other people as well, you know, maybe not too disciplined with themselves. They don't have the best self-control and I can see it backfire. It's happened to me before and I'm sure it's happened to some of you. So shout out to Josh, you know, he helped me out with this type of sermon <laughs> type thing. But yeah, anyways guys, that's pretty much the end of my vlog. So you guys take care, watch over yourselves and uh, love yourselves. Easy.